Of course, maybe some of them will know me and they'll be like, I thought you graduated theology. Do you have any background in dentistry? I'm like, no. So, like, what are you doing? What are you trying to tell us? It, 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 it was weird. Who is this man speaking now? It was the power of the Holy Spirit. We have other instances, beloved, in, throughout the book of Acts where you find that when the believers were filled with the Holy Spirit, they boldly spoke out. When you go to the same chapter, verses 29 and 31, you find there, uh, um, and, and now, oh, but, but before that, let, let, let me just share with you what the, the, okay, Peter was speaking to the Jewish rulers, what they thought of what they were saying. When you go to 4 verses 13, it says there, Now as they observed the confidence of Peter and John, and understood that they were uneducated, untrained men, they were amazed and began to recognize them as having been with Jesus. Wow. Uneducated, untrained men. Beloved, God promises us the Holy Spirit. And with the Holy Spirit, He gives us the confidence to speak before anyone. There are other instances, 4 verses 29, again he says, now, And now, Lord, take note of their threat and grant that your bond servant may speak your word with all confidence. And then when you go to 31, it says, And when they had prayed, the place where they had gathered together was shaken, and they were filled. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began to what? What does it say there? And they began to what? I cannot hear anyone. 4 verses 31. And they began to, to speak with boldness. They began to speak the word of God with boldness. You have stories like Stephen, when he was sitting there, laying there on the ground and, and kneeling, he was filled with the Holy Spirit and he spoke with boldness. We have the example of Paul in Acts chapter 9 verses 17 and 20. He was going to Damascus to kill the believers, but when now he was converted, and the Holy Spirit had filled his heart, he went to the synagogue, not to arrest Christians, but to preach the word of God. Beloved, I am telling you something, that when the Holy Spirit fills our heart, we have the confidence. When the Holy Spirit fills our heart, we are not timid. When the Holy Spirit fills our heart, we know whom we believe in, and we are persuaded by his truth. The Holy Spirit was not only promised to the disciples. If you read with me Acts 1 verses 8, it says, and who, and who, and you, you was not only limited to the disciples, it was limited to also you, Sister Sheila. It was limited to you, Brother Junior. It is limited to everyone who is sitting inside this place, who is humble enough to accept the Holy Spirit to transform their lives. This was a promise to you who will receive the power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will witness for Christ in AUP. Putting Kahoy, Silang, the rest of the Philippines. This was a promise to you, beloved. 
This was a promise to you that when you're in your class, you will not be scared to change a conversation to point out to Jesus and the practical lessons that you can get from this subject that you're discussing about how good Jesus is. This was pointing to you when you're in a jeepney and you bring out one text that has boggled your mind in the morning without any fear that somebody would turn. Or when you begin to hum a song, Oh, How I Love Jesus, without being scared that it's not the church. This promise was given to you when you're in the bus, when you're in the office, when you're in the airplane, when wherever you are, even in your bed. To speak with confidence the Word of God. Any superheroes wanna be? Any superheroes wanna be? No, 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 this is not to attract attention to ourselves. In fact, when you notice when Peter and John, when Peter and John had just, because they, the, the leaders, they were surprised. Man, how come they speak like this? And then they let them go. When they left, they did not say, oh man, did you hear how I spoke? It says in Acts 4, when you read in the latter part, they say that they went out praising God. You're called to be a witness for the praise of God. We are called in a world where science is trying to crush religion. Societies are oppressing religion. When friends are despising, when one tries to know Christ more. Do we have any superheroes wanna be for Christ today? Those who want to say, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Those who want to say, Lord, fill me with your power so that I can have the confidence just like the disciples did to be able to spread your message to all the world. Any superheroes wanna be? who want to say that, Lord, I want to have your power in me and not live my life in timidity and only focused on my studies, but also focusing on glorifying you through my studies. Any superheroes want to be tonight? May I see by a raise of hand. Those who want the power of the Holy Spirit to fill their lives, that they can become witnesses around. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I want to be a superhero. One who is filled with the superpower of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, we can never we can never, we can never stand up for you. We can never show our lives are given to you. We can never proclaim your message without your Holy Spirit abiding in our hearts, transforming us and helping us to have confidence to speak about you, to sing about you, to praise you wherever we are because of how good you are. We can never bring as many people as the disciples brought to you unless we allow the Holy Spirit to give us the confidence in our classes, give us the confidence with our friends, give us the confidence when we're in our jeepneys, when we're in SM, wherever we are, dear Lord, that when we can grab an opportunity to share about you, we will do it with all our hearts. You have seen the hands of the superheroes, wannabes. I am praying tonight that you can bestow your Holy Spirit upon our hearts afresh. 
give us the fire burning. That we can speak of you wherever we are. Thank you. Thank you for forgiving us just like you forgave your disciples and for giving us your power once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.